It's not uncommon to get sucked into activity on just one ladder whilst trading. The easiest way to avoid this is to use the market overview chart in the Geeks toy. This is going to be a short and sharp clip to introduce you to what the market overview chart is, how to set up your market overview chart, and when I find the market overview of most use, and you can too. So as the name suggests, the market overview is a chart that shows you the bigger picture of an entire betting market's odds, reflected against each other, all within one place as seen on the left hand side of this screen. You see that the market isn't that active right now because this is actually a greyhounds race later in the evening. Horse racing is finished for the evening and so I've recorded it here. Now, how do you set up your market overview chart? It's really easy to change the settings on a market overview, but before we do, I wanna show you where you can find it. So if you right click on the market navigator, up the top there, show hide, and then market uh, overview, and then market overview is the fourth one down. So we can select that there and the market overview will pop up on the screen like this. From there, you just need to change the actual settings for the overview chart. Now, if you right click on the overview, you've got a market overview setting specific menu. So at the top, you've got the legend, which is obviously the little bit of information at the bottom here. It shows you the location of where that will be. Um, top, bottom, left, down, down there. How you want the runners to be sorted within this market overview, whether you want to sort them in ascending or descending, in terms of size of odds, font, background color, and a few bits and bobs like that. Very easy. The chart range itself, I'm gonna suggest that you put over three minutes because typically information changes quite quickly in the moment. As you can see, it's starting to form on the bottom of the market over you here now. And to have it much longer is not really of real use, but to have it much shorter, it actually blinkers your overall view. So. Below that, we've got the sample rate. Again, you may want to set this to 0.1. It just means that it's going to update a little bit quicker. To be honest, there's no real advantage in having it between sort of 0.3 and 0.1 as far as I'm concerned. So we'll change that back to 0.25 where I normally have it. Auto shrink is just a case of, do you want to expand the entire market odds to fill out the whole chart? So it's a little bit clearer. So we'll put that back on. As you can see, it zooms in. Color scheme. Obviously not chart specific in terms of uh, features. We've got the backgrounds, horizontal grid, labels, line thickness. These are all just aesthetics as far as the market overview chart goes. So that's how you set up your market overview chart. I would suggest that you keep it at around about three minutes or thereabouts and the sample rate relatively low at about 0.25. So when do I most use the market overview chart? Funny enough, as the screen's expressing uh, the odds on the screen now, you can see where the market overview would be most useful. Prior to the start of, um, back to the start of this video, there wasn't so much information and so you couldn't really tell a lot. But in this instance, you can actually see the different lines being plotted against each other. But it's important to bear them in mind with relation to each other. So you can see quite here, here quite clearly, washed ashore, uh, the blue line has come in and it's taken a little bit of back money. So if we move that into the second column, you can see there with the market overview, uh, the market traded volume bars, you can see that there's a little bit more money for this. Obviously it's a dog's race and there's very little money matched overall. So there's not a huge amount of data on offer for us to, to use it. But you can see the bigger picture without getting blinkered into just one runner, particularly if you have less ladders. So for example, you may not have as much screen space. If you have only three, and there's six selections in the race, something could be happening beyond the third runner, which would then confuse and blinker your overall trading decisions. With a market overview, it's very hard to ignore that. So I think it's very important. That's why I have it on the left-hand side of my setup, um, quite large, so I can see what's going on at all times. So the market overview tool is really good um, feature just to make sure that you've got clarity on the actual situation as it develops and evolves. I certainly would say that you know if you don't have it up, you are at a disadvantage. So last thing before I go, if you guys use the market overview, do you consider it to be one of your most important things? Um, I'd be keen to know what sort of people's views are on this. I do check the comments and I'll reply to as many as possible.